Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Empire Mega and Empire of Japan. So, um, starting another session, I'm hoping for three, maybe even four episodes tonight, and we have a lot of work ahead of us. We're planning the assault on Papua New Guinea, and we're gonna take, um, well, both of the sides, um, the Dutch East Indies and the Commonwealth of Australia's um, territory, which is a prerequisite to the invasion of Australia. I still haven't decided whether or not we're gonna first go after Guadalcanal or if we're gonna take Papua, then Australia, and then Guadalcanal, because I think they might actually, um, well, pretty much just give up soon. We have the entirety of the 8th Southern Army already over here and uh, where's the rest of you? Seven divisions over here and we had six extra. Are you? In, you're still in Japan. Okay, so you guys need to get out of here and you need to go somewhere better. I don't want to stage you all there, so let me just stage you here, and once our marines land in Papua, you guys are going to move in there, and once we take Papua, you guys are going to move to... Now, Darwin would be a pretty interesting place to invade in. It has a lot of victory points. Townswell, the same. Brisbane and the other territories will kind of have to wait. It's gonna be hell. This is all desert and we don't have desert equipment. But honestly, what's really important for us is that they do not really have that many divisions. And we already pretty much control this entire area as far as sea goes. So what I need to do is I need to create another fleet that's gonna snipe anything that moves uh, through Coral Fleet and Tasman Sea. I'm thinking whether or not we would like to send you guys there, but we... I mean, I could detach a couple of you and send you down there and just make a separate fleet that would control that. Hmm, that is an option for sure. Because we do have a lot of submarines here. How many are we building? Because these subs are pretty cheap to make. Uh, we're Sort of, yeah, we're building four, four in one bunch. Oh, we have four more over here in training. Oh, we finished the refits to Yamato. Amazing. So you guys will join this training fleet. And we'll attach you to the first battlefield very soon. But uh, that could actually be a pretty good, pretty good plan here. And I'd rather do it sooner than later. So if we we have you guys and you guys, okay. So let me split you off and create a third ice and kind of can tie. Okay. And we'll make you into a new submarine fleet, which is going to have, oh, that's a, that's a really ugly color. And this one is just too damn dark. So let's do it like this. And you guys will get a new Navy Commander. Do we have someone? Flies water, that's definitely not what we want. Iron side, gentlemanly, amazing for a submarine spotter. Spotter is a great guy for our purposes. Season spotter and a concealment expert. So let's get a season spotter and a veteran spotter. This increases retreat. Decision chance and convoy run. No, you give way better. So, concealment expert. So, you are going to be based in. No, actually, that is wrong. Let me delete that. And we're gonna send you guys 
to this port. What is that? Bismarck? Oh, it's Rabaul. Okay, so you will be stationed in Rabaul and you're gonna take control of the Coral Sea and the Tasman Sea. We're actually going to station it in Port Moresby once we take it, but that's gonna be a little bit more time for us. And we'll add more submarines to you and to you. Yeah, we're gonna have... You guys are controlling which areas? Four of them and there's four of you. Okay, so we just need to make a bit more numerous and the same for you because uh, I would like it if we could control the Solomon Sea as well but I'm actually not entirely sure we'll have enough for that. Let me just separate you guys into a bit um, oh okay this is gonna be good let's keep it like this I mean we don't really get that many action over there anymore but you guys are going to be really good. And as we said, we can name you the third Aoi Sensukai Kantai. Cool. Okay. So uh, that is a prerequisite to the attack on Australia. We just need to isolate it. More subs will start hunting here. Pretty much just denying any possible reinforcements from the United States or supply coming there. I mean, supply is not going to be an issue whether they have enough of their own, but still. Apart from that, we have been fighting heavily in this area. We are trying to take the city of Dhaka. Our units are just doing whatever they can to attack it. It's not going great, but it's also not going very poorly. And our tanks are moving northwards because we want to cut this area in half. You guys are taking this. Uh, that actually means that you guys can attack here, you can go in there and you can support this. So let me just unpause it and make sure that they do not reinforce. Okay, so with this we would encircle all of these units and eliminate them. We can also take Bhutan, uh, which is... I mean, Bhutan is really not a threat. Wow! Really? You guys have so many factories. I'm shocked, but okay, that's fine. Uh, so we'll utilize that, and this entire territory is going to be very useful for us. We are short on resources, not entirely sure on what. Tank production capacity 26 and engine production capacity. What are you talking about? We just finished a tank facility. Why would we be short? We're... Okay, this is really not going well. I think it's our constant boosts to the chi he that are just making this really poor. Um, yeah, we need to build more. Okay, let me just... I mean, we're building more. So just build even more, because when you're building more, just build even more. That's gonna work out fine. So this factory is going to be finished, we're going to start working on that. And any technology that can help us immediately Thing that I could see, but uh, the no, you're you can't do it. Anyone on the industry? Nope, uh, not really. Okay, so we'll have to wait at least 74 days. Once we get the prepared defense, uh, we might switch you over to the tank workshops level two, which would give us. Plus one per assembly plant, and we have how many? Eleven. So that wouldn't fix it, but capacity per plant would go up by 13. So if you build two more, we will even it out. Gotcha. Uh, one thing that I really want to boost, though, is the garrison uh, equipment production, because I'm not entirely sure if we have enough. We do have 7.3 thousand. Okay. 
That's another room really bad. We also uh, finished the upgrades to our special forces cap. So that's going well. And we finished the design of the U Sencha Ryodan. And this one would need to go to you guys. Oh, wait, we are all the way down here. But I checked and we do not have the necessary equipment. We're missing the medium tanks. Yeah, but we're in deficit on the medium tanks. We have everything else. This would just put the light tanks out and then we would be screwed. Transport trucks. Yeah, we're missing a lot of medium tanks. We need to boost that significantly to get the deficit out. And because we don't have the tank production capacity, that it's gonna take a while. Okay. So you guys know what you're doing. Situation here is also not all that bad. You guys are doing what? Nothing really, you're just chewing. Okay, but it's Wow, we have a lot of units here. Okay, you're moving because we have recently gained a supply hub here. Oh, and there is one in Kizil as well. But has no connection to our capital. Okay, so that can be fixed. It won't be fixed quickly, but it shall be fixed eventually. Uh, we will do it as such. Four separate lines. Uh, make it this way, so it's gonna be the next uh, priority. So the spy hub is over here, and honestly, there is barely any resistance. I'm thinking we will just send you to Novosibirsk. There literally is no reason not to, and we'll see if we even encounter any resistance. And then you can go here as well. There's supply. Oh, and we encircled you over here. That is lovely. Can you support this? Um, okay, let's send you like so. You're moving, you guys are moving. We recently learned that the Soviet Union is crumbling, which is amazing and unfortunately, you guys still are a necessary part of this offensive force. I feel bad for even asking you to do this, but yeah, you have to. Okay, so we've set everything in motion. And now's the time to unpause it. Okay, I think we can launch a counter attack here just to uh, rile them up a bit. Yeah, you're not really having a good time. Please don't attack my tanks, you are not. That's really good. Okay, this attack has failed. Once again. Um, but we won't give up. I'm actually doing a pretty decent amount of damage. When you think about it. Okay, this area will be taken very soon. Yeah, as I thought. Come the hell on. Yeah, our tank divisions are really not doing good. Oh! One of the empires of Japan's most famous carrier bomber aces, Kunimitsu Shogun Enoshima, has gone down in the line of duty. 
Pilots returning from the mission report having spotted his Navy B-5N2 carrier bomber going down in flames over eastern Micronesia after taking heavy enemy fire. Well, that is sad. Uh, okay, our Marines are all preparing for this. You are not? Oh, you're still thinking about this one. Okay, so that is your issue right there. Okay, you go in here. And what do we have here? We have a fight between our Navy and the well, remnants of Royal Navy. We have just sank HMS Norfolk and the HMS Revenge. And the HMS Prince is at 7% strength. And the carrier HMS Victorious might not. Okay. So we sank HMS Revenge and HMS Prince of Wales. And will you. Yep, you caught it again. It's Frank was probably gonna go down significantly. Organization is dropping. Yep, we're starting to hit it. 19 light gun hits and 55 heavy gun hits. No, wait, that's total damage received. Okay. And it's retreating. Light guns give it 41 damage, 87 heavy gun, and it was torpedoed. Oh, you're not making it out alive. Yep. There goes their carriers. So, you guys are gone, and here the HMS Victorious has been killed. I actually don't know how to open the other report when there's more than one at the same place, but yeah, goodbye, sweet prince, you will be missed. Now, have you guys made it south? No, not yet. Okay, those are some goddamn aged uh, aged subs, but I think they're gonna do what we need them to. You can get so many experience points. It's interesting. All right, you have so many experience points. You can get so many things. Jesus. Come on, guys, get back in here. You can attack over here and just push them out. I feel I can attack over here. Would it be? Well warranted. Just keep on pushing. Don't ever dare to stray. And we finished advanced career operations, which is lovely. That's an Entech, right? Yep. 1944. Organization, sub detection, surface detection, all that fun stuff. Working on a grand battle fleet. And what else can we get in here? Um, actually, one thing that I wanted to do is because we're planning the Kagero, uh, we'll save up on the Navy experience. But I would really like it if we could get the Fabuki. And we need a better improved naval anti air for that. So let me see, is this. Yeah, it's this one. Could also get better torpedoes, better turbines, better batteries, better decimeter radar. Okay, let's get that one. That is really quick, and then we're gonna go with the light naval anti air.
Okay, you guys are going over there. And you can attack immediately. There is no day like today. Okay, so what's going on here? Have we destroyed that encircled unit over here? We did. Okay, you can move over here. You guys are advancing. That is just lovely to see. You guys are all advancing. Taking this area. Yep. Slowly gobbling up that Soviet territory. I think Germans are progressing slowly into the territory of Soviet Union. How bad are they? They were at 88, still 88, okay. I mean, it's a slow burn. What are we expecting? Uh, what? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, you guys are a reserve army as far as we are concerned. And what about you? Are you moving? Yes, you still are. Okay, one of you is already there. These are really old subs, but refitted to modern standard. We just got another one. Oh, the Yamato and Musashi, you are going to be amazing. 44 armor. Compare it to the Congo, which was our battle cruiser and the pride of the fleet until now. Light attack is only four points higher, but heavy attack is more than double. Heavy piercing about 40% higher. Armor is more than double. They're slow though. And they're... Wow, their organization is really awful. Why? Oh, I think that's the penalty from... Uh, the green crew. Experience progress... Maybe not? Readiness. Oh wait, no. Ah, gotcha. That's the maximum. Ah, okay. It's showing the actual versus maximum. Okay, you guys are over here. So we're gonna put the Coral Sea on yellow and the Tasman Sea on yellow. And send you guys to... Uh, uh, uh. Gonna send you to convoy raiding in these two areas. Really nice. Okay, so what's going on here? That attack has dropped again. So we'll continue. Come on. Okay, we got more military factories, but considering... Okay, so we have only 14 production capacity missing now, that's good. So we're producing... Okay, 5.74 per week. The efficiency here is increasing, we're gonna get to about... Near 3 per day. Uh, I don't need trucks over here, that many anyway. But I'd like to put more to garrison because we're gonna need all the garrison equipment we can get very soon. Jesus Christ, they got like the entire army over there. Oh hell. Um, but they're retreating almost all of them. Which is really good. I'm gonna divide this border. And instead, we're gonna put you guys on an attack vector here. 
I'll take you almost done. It would really help us if we could continue the attack over here. Okay, camouflaged field uniforms are finished. Which was the first step giving us more special forces cap. But as you can see, we already have a lot. So, Marines organization, amphibious mechanized, we don't have those. Um, but what was the other thing? Oh yeah, the better field uniform. 98 Shiki Guni. Uniform, helmets, boots and kit required by the troops. It is a small boost. But it's a basic boost. The cover rate increased by 0.1 and defense increased by 0.5. Okay, you guys found again. Man, we're getting there, you know. We are getting there. It's never too late. I guess in stun, but we can support an attack over here. And of course it's a bridge. Of course it's a bridge attack. What was I expecting? Now we throw it. There's nothing that I would I hate more than a bridge fighting in this game. And that's why the AI is always using it against me. Okay. Wait, we're not at War of Tibet. No, we are not. Okay. Uh, here it's going. We're going to discuss the situation over here. Uh, not great. But there's a potential for encirclement here. So let's take it. You guys need to go and advance. You guys not doing anything are irking me. Just keep marching. Northwest Siberia. I'll give you a little bit of time to recover. You guys are moving. Okay, taking more and more territory for ourselves. We're still a one day away. Keep missing 14 tank production capacity, but we're working on rectifying that. Really nice. Building more dockyards, more engine capacity. And our two tasks was average convoy rating efficiency in the region 0%. Oh, why? Is it because you don't have any? Okay, it's getting better, 100%, okay. So now you're in place, and we already see the Americans in there. But that's great, we have just ensured that no more are coming. At least we can tell ourselves that. Okay, how's this looking? We're doing some Rising amounts of damage to them. But I'm not entirely sold on the idea that we're gonna make it. Okay, heat ammunition. It would really help us if we had more avenues of attack, but we don't. Okay, this is great. 
after the fact. That there is nobody here is actually also great because we're gonna go for that. Food sale. Sure. River is just rotting for us. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah. We finished the heat ammunition. Okay, and we're working on the Type 3 chassis. So, now what else can we do? Well, that depends. Do we need anything else for the next medium tank? The 75mm for the 8 Type 3. Uh, 78 millimeter for the A-type pre gun. So let's get that. And let's once again check if the hand ammunition that we just got is useful for any of our tanks. Uh, so where would that be here? Nope. 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 Okay, well, no surprise there. Nope. 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 No surprise there. What about you? Nope. Not a single one of them. Okay, type 2 Hoi. Okay, so you can use one. You can use the 75mm 21 type 99 heat. And it gives a little bit of extra heart attack and a ton of extra piercing. But I think that's well worth it. So type 2 Ho E H. And where was it? Over here. And you can't use the crack, so you have the welded armor. It's good. And uh, the previous one is obsolete. Uh, type 1 she had. And nope. And that's, I think, it. So the obsolete one now is going to be switched to the Type 2 Ho 1H. And I can actually convert you guys, which is fine. So you are moving over there. I'd really like to see it this way. Are we sending anyone? I don't think so. Okay, the fight here is getting a little bit more even. And our units have launched their attack on Hollandia. So let us end this episode by us landing there and finding out that it is empty. Right? Alright. Oh yes, it is. Amazing job. So, in the next episode, the invasion of Papua New Guinea.